What's going on people? My name is Hamza Rashad. We are at the Puffin Podcast and today we have three very special guests. Guys, can you please introduce yourself and tell us your name? Aisha. Theo. Ashra. The topic of today is space. Does anyone like space? It's my topic at school. You, yeah. What's your favourite planet? Uranus. Oh, okay. Why do you... Is there a reason why you like Uranus? No. Do you like Uranus better than Earth? Yeah. But you've you've never been, I'm presuming. Or, or have you been? I haven't. You haven't? You see, you can't really say that then, can you? <laughs> what about you? What's your favourite planet? Jupiter. Jupiter, why? Is that the one that's got a ring around it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I like that one. It's pretty. Yeah. yeah. Why do you like it so much? It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, what about you? Favourite planet? Jupiter. Jupiter? Are you just copying her? Jupiter no, gang. Yeah? I like it. Does anyone like Mars? Yeah, it tastes yummy. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Snickers is nice too. And uh, we're going to play a game, okay? Hey, guys, I'm going to ask you some questions, yeah? And if you get a question right, you're going to get £50,000. Just speak to the producers afterwards, yeah? £50,000. I would not lie to you guys. So anyway, so here we go. Some of the questions, yeah? First of all, question number one. <clears throat> what is the sun made of? Lava. Lava? Yeah. Uh, no. No. You owe us 50000 now. Wait, wait, I got wait. It wrong. <laughs> yeah. Is it gas and oil? Uh, I don't know any of it. Is it hydrogen? Oh, it is. No, it is. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, fifty thousand pounds, guys. Can we can we pay him in cash? That would be great. Yeah. And a few few bars of gold as well. That'd be nice, innit? Yeah? yeah. And a horse. I'm gonna give you a help. I'm gonna give you a horse. Okay. okay I'm gonna give you a horse. Um, no, you, you get nothing. You owe us fifty thousand pounds. Speak to the producer. Glad afterwards. I didn't answer it. Okay. That's really good. Do you want to, do you want to know some fun facts? Because it's actually concerning you, Theo. Yeah. Because you like Uranus. Yeah. Yeah. The planet Uranus smells. Like farts. Now, this is a true. This is actually a. This is a real fun fact. It has clouds of the gas hydrogen sulfide, which is one of the gases found in our farts that makes them smell terrible. Yeah, my farts smell really nice. Uh, do you want me to prove it? No, no. no why not? No, thank you. But I've been eating all, all morning. Do we have perfume here? Uh, you know what? My farts actually smell of perfume. Yeah. Right. Cool. Anyway, next one. The next question I have is obviously about space. Are aliens real? Let's do it one by one. Let's do it with you first, because obviously you're in debt right now, fifty thousand pounds. So <laughs> you need to get this right. Are aliens real? Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wh what do you think? Yes or no? Um. No. No. And what do you think? Yes. Okay. Well, the answer is um, we don't know. So that's that's not really that's actually unfair. Um, don't worry, everyone will get £5,000 each Because that's not a fair question But we haven't found any aliens yet But do know there are lots and lots of planets in the universe That might have life on them Like plants Mars Or animals Yep, yeah, people are talking about Mars as well So here's a fun fact actually Scientists have sent messages out into space Including songs, drawings, animals Animal sound. Animal. Oh, sorry, animal sound. Sorry, I should have read that properly. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. And even a TV. Yeah. So that's something or something out there. They might be able to hear them. Um, if you could see an alien or speak to an alien, what would you say is the first thing that you would ask them? How's life up there? All right. So first, first you say, how's life up there? Okay. What happened if the alien speaks Japanese? Do you know Japanese? Konnichiwa. <laughs> I don't know a language. You should really need to learn Japanese. That's <laughs> honestly, come on, some people. You know Japanese, right? Just say yes. Okay, yes. Okay, cool, wicked. Uh, what would you ask an alien? <laughs> you haven't thought about it, have you? No. Do you even like aliens? <laughs> okay, then that's fine. Theo, what about you, man? Um, I just don't know because we're not sure if they're real or not. Yeah. But if it, let's just say you did see an alien. What would be the first thing? Would you ask them what football team they would support or something? Yeah. Yeah. What, what team do you support? Liverpool. Liverpool. They're not bad, actually. They're doing pretty well. All right, guys. So now we're going to do a quick fire round. So what I need you to do is when I say a question, um, you have to say your name and then give your answer. Okay? It just makes it easier. All right? So let's go. We're going to do it quickly. All right. The first question is, 
Is the moon made out of cheese? Theo, no. Aisha, Osh- no. Osher, no. Okay, cool. Um, the answer is no. Yeah, well done, guys. I mean, it's not scientifically proven, but that's what they say. So whatever. Yes, it's fine. Okay. Is Pluto a planet? Osher, no. Um, Theo. It's a dwarf planet. Oh. It's a dwarf planet. Okay, well, scientists decided that it was actually a dwarf planet, not a planet like Earth. So, hey, Theo, you're actually, you're really smart, man. All right, Mm. next question. Is space silent? Theo, yes. Osher, no. Osher, no. Um, (laughs) Well, actually, sound needs something to travel through. Uh, on earth it travels through the air but there's no air in space so theo is right again yeah. theo you've probably made at least 250 grand today what? honestly yeah producers make sure yeah make sure guys all right next question have dogs been sent into space theo yes oh, sure. Oh, sure, yes Aisha, yes the answer is no okay. not yet but dogs if you're watching make sure you apply Okay, and the last one is, is sun a star? Osher, no. Wait, no. I don't know anymore. Theo. Aisha, yes. Theo, yes. Guys, who said yes, you are right. Yes, it's the closest star to Earth. So well done, guys. And that was actually really cool. I I, I, I thought you did very well. Did you guys think you did very well? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. All right, cool. I don't know, Let's any- see what I don't know anything about now. space. So guys, as you guys know, I am one of the funniest people in the world. Remember when you were saying that five minutes ago, you were like, Hamza, you're so funny. Do you remember that conversation? Just say yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I wanted to give you guys a chance as well. So you have a sheet of paper with a few jokes. Okay. So I would like it if you could tell me a joke and try to make me laugh. And if not, then, you know, you can leave quietly. (laughs) Theo, you want to try first? You've been doing really well. Like, you've made a lot of money in this podcast, more yeah. than any of us. I don't even get paid. So uh, do you want to start off with a really funny joke? And we'll decide if uh, if, if it's any good, yeah? Okay. Okay, cool. What, happens, what happens when you throw a green rock into the Red Sea? It gets wet. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> that was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Theo, you're doing so well, man. What's wrong with you? What kind of joke is that? That's made me tired. How can a joke make me tired? Please, please, save the day. What's your name, Bob? Your name's Bob, right? No. What is it? Aisha. Aisha? Yeah. That's the same thing, just different spelling. Have you got a joke that's better than Theo's? Because that was, that was horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah? What's um, a spaceman's favourite chocolate bar? Mars. Is, is it Mars? Milky Way. No. Mars bar. Oh, I said But that's, no, that's I said technically, <laughs> we Mars. did get it right. But you know, it's fine. Whatever. It's... it's, it's it's, yeah, it's not getting any better. Please <laughs> save the day. Oshra, if you have one about space, yeah. as the theme of today is space, obviously, um, that would be very good. So tell us your space joke. What planet is full of cows? What planet is for cows? Full of cows. Full of cows. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You tell me. The moon. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yours, yours one is better. Don't worry, yeah. No, but it's really funny. Well done. Thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. Is there any more space jokes? Have you got any more space jokes? Because I'm I'm really yeah. feeling these jokes. I mean, I, I feel like I can definitely uh, copyright these jokes. Some of them. Not her one, but mm. maybe one. Wow. So, guys, in your opinion, who do you think had the best space joke? So, we had your one. Your one was a space joke, right? No, Osh- it was a pirate one. Oh, yeah. It's no, that was an Oli. So, Oli Oshra had a space joke. Theo, did you have a space joke? Yeah. What was the space joke again? How does NASA do parties? They plan it. That's kind of like mine. Oh, yeah. That is kind of copying yours. But it's funny, though. I like They're it. Planet. Funny. Planet. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a hard one. But then then with the cow one, I like that because she said moo. That was quite funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know what? I think we'll have a tie. You both will get a tractor each. Do you like tractors? Keep them. We've Ooh. got two. Yeah, just fine. You don't even need a license, apparently. Yeah. Now we are going to play the story generator game. Okay, so what's going to happen is we have two hats, two extremely expensive hats. You can keep them, by the way, if you want. I don't think the, the, the props lot will mind. Yeah. Okay. And 
in each hat, there will be pieces of paper. Now the first one will have loads of pieces of paper and we will take one and from that we will have a character for our story. Then the other hat will have the location of where they're from. And then one of you is going to choose, probably you or sure, probably you, um, you are going to choose a superpower for our character. And what we're going to do is we're going to line by line create a story so hopefully if it's a good one i can copy it make it into a book and make lots of money is that fine do you understand the game guys yeah yep yeah. yeah? glad uh, so what does yours say a witch a witch okay that's a bit scary theo a secret garden a secret garden okay and superpower um teleportation okay so a witch super garden Secret garden. Secret garden. And teleportation. And has teleportation, okay? Once upon a time, a witch was riding a mop. <laughs> then she banged into a tree. Sounds, sounds so dangerous. Carry on. And then she cleaned the tree with her mop. Oh, okay. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah, health and safety. And then she met a bird. Mm. And the bird obviously spoke Japanese and said, Follow me to a secret garden. <laughs> and the witch said, Right, can eat you are. And then the witch teleported home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Has any of you guys ever thought of writing a story? Like a book? Yeah. I've wrote I've wrote two. Some. You've wrote two stories? No way. What were they about? One was an Easter poem mm -hmm. and the other one was like, these two kids who like when I was seven I wrote about these two kids who saved the day really oh okay then oh maybe you could show me it so I can copy it and then release it as a book and not pay you any royalties is that okay <laughs> will I get paid in compliments um I'll give you some chocolate <laughs> yeah healthy chocolate obviously no. vegan chocolate I don't know what's right and what's wrong now okay what's your stories <laughs> about Candyland. Mm -hmm. Oh, Candyland. Okay, yeah, then. I don't think the dentist would like your stories, but <laughs> it sounds good. It sounds good. Okay, so guys, for the next part, I'm going to tell you a story about something that may or may not have happened to me. And you, at the end of the story, have to think and, and tell me if you believe it's true or if you think I'm lying. Yeah? So here's my story. <clears throat> it all started at night time. There I was... Just in my living room, eating some popcorn. Yeah, I'm healthy. And um, I remember one of my friends uh, who was at my house at the time, they turned around and said, look outside. So I look outside and I saw an orange light in the sky. Now, I didn't know what it was, but I had my camera. So I ran outside with my camera and I started filming it. And then everyone from the neighborhood came outside and we were all looking at three orange dots that were moving like a triangle. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then I decided to get a closer look. So me and my boys, we went to the park to see what was going on and get a closer look with this so-called UFO because that's what I believed in. I thought it was a UFO. And then, no word of a lie, one of the UFOs or the lights or whatever it was, I think it was a UFO though, it went down I couldn't see anything and then an alien came out and said to me and I went on Google translations and that basically said I've just read your book Little Bad Man and the Invasion of the Killer Aunties and I really really like it can you sign my copy yeah that's that's what happened so guys do you believe in my no. story or what you're, you're saying that I'm a liar Theo that's really rude yeah. Well, why do you think it's not true? What part didn't you believe? The aliens and about your book. What? Okay, well, okay. Back me up, are you sure? You, you know that it's right. Yeah? Do you believe yeah. in my story? Yeah? Okay. What about you, Oshra? Did you believe in my story? No. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'll be honest with you. I was kind of lying. Yeah, I was kind of lying. But the beginning part was actually true. One day, uh, this is like about seven, eight years ago, oh. I did actually see orange lights in the sky and I went out and I actually, I recorded it for like 30, 40 minutes. But apparently 
it was um plain. It was Chinese lanterns. You know those oh, those kind of like lamps yeah. that they put the fire inside and then it floats in the air and it kind of looks like a UFO from afar. So yeah, apparently that's what they said. But I don't know. I think it was a UFO. That's just me. That's just my personal. It could be in it. Yeah. Yeah. No. But we will never know. Okay, next up is the Puffin News. Better than any news channel out there. So guys, take it away. We'll be following up with aspiring stargazer Libby as she shares her secrets to success and her belief that the only thing you'll need to change your world is you. Reported by author and field journalist Sarah Allen. Another one of Greg Heffley's diaries have been found and published. It's almost as if he wants us to read them. With additional work from Jeff Kinney, the Heffley family's latest escapades have been written about in Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Meltdown. Sometimes, when you see a shooting star, it's actually... A meteor. No, it's not Theo. Don't interrupt me again. <laughs> it's actually astronaut poop burning oh. up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. So oh. there you go. Now, yeah, that, so sometimes when you think that it's a shooting star, it's actually just a bit of poo, really. So, hey, you know, I'm here just teaching the young generation all I have to, you know... All I, all I, all I kind of know. But that means astronauts barely use the toilet then, because you barely see them. True. And that means maybe they only come in. out. That means they bet like really only come out in the night. Yeah, maybe maybe it's an astronaut thing. Maybe they're only allowed to poo at certain times, i.e., at night time. We don't know. These are questions that we all should debate about uh, more thoroughly. In uh, you know, even when we're off air, maybe for the next two or three hours. No. Mm. So, guys. If you were in space, let's just say Mars, okay? Because they, they're saying that we're going to go Mars to 10 to 15 years. So if we do go Mars, what do you think is the first few things we have to do to set up the, the planet? You don't have to um, put your hand up. You could just talk, Theo. Come on, we're close now. Um, I wouldn't say, I, I would just jump about. Mm. You jump fun. about. I'd mm. be a rocket potato. Oh, really? Oh, okay, then. We thought this through then. Mm. What about you, Aisha? What would you do in Mars? I would probably buy now all the um because I got told there's a plant that the moon can be made out of cheese and there's bunnies that go on it. But that's probably scientifically proven not to be true. But um whoever, you know, taught you that, I mean, you know, credit to them, you know, they lie very well. Um <laughs> uh, what's it called? Okay, so if you were an astronaut, let's say, and then the person in charge was like, We can go to any planet, but it can't be your favourite, it can't be Jupiter. Sorry, Aisha. It can't be Jupiter. And Theo, it can't be Uranus. What other place would you go to? And Saturn. why? Jupiter. Okay, so you said Jupiter. Why Why do you want to go Jupiter? Um, what's a big planet? Do you want to know a fun fact about Jupiter? Yeah. So do I. Um, I uh, Oshra, what, what about you? Where would you go? Saturn. Why Saturn? Oh, she, she's copycat. She's copycat. Uh I like the name. Oh, uh, the name is good. Yeah, but Saturn, no, it's a really good choice. What about you, uh, Aisha? Apart from Saturn, because I, I know you really wanted to go there. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah? Probably Mars. Mars, yeah. Mars is, I, I think that that's where we're going to go next. And is there anything else about space that fascinates you? Um, the stars. The stars is pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we shooting stars. and we learnt that the sun is a star. The Big yeah. Bang. The Big Bang. Oh yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah. So they basically said that one day, just like there was a Big Bang and everything got created. Is that is that what happened? Yeah. Was that just like a theory, isn't it? Theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe in that theory? No, it's a theory though. Hey, you know we could talk about it. An astronaut poop. Um, uh, and is there anything else that <laughs> you've learnt? Are you sure? from your valuable time here at the Puffin Podcast? Um, that the sun, the, the sun's a moon. Star. The sun is not the moon. <laughs> I'm in the star. I'm, I'm glad that I'm, yeah, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we clarified that. What else? Um, Don't worry, I got you. I've got another fun fact. You see, I've got a few fun facts. Oh no. Oh. So, you know, you were talking about the sun. Here's a fun fact. The sun is much bigger than the earth which we, I think we all know. But if the sun was the size of a front door, then that would mean that Earth would be around the size of a penny. So imagine how big the sun is compared to the 
to the earth, isn't it? That's crazy. So imagine a door, a door, like you know how big a door is. Look, there's a door there, yeah? A door, but earth would be a penny. Sun, the door, earth penny. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, okay, this is another important question. If you were to go to space, what would you take with you? Osha? Chocolate. Mm-hmm. Chocolate? What kind of chocolate? Any any that I like. That's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. What about you, Theo? What would you take apart from chocolate? A rope and a camera. A rope and a camera. I only said one thing, so um, you'll have to choose. A rope. Why would you bring a rope? <laughs> a tie around the planet and jump, jump into the black hole. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> But good luck. Uh, what about you, Aisha? Candy. Oh my God, candy. So candy is quite a popular. It's quite a popular choice, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but you're gonna have like bad teeth after a while, I think. So... Dentist won't be happy. Huh? Dentist won't be happy. Yeah, denti- dentist won't be happy. Yeah. Okay, then that's very interesting. Okay, cool. Um, Oshra, one other thing. What is a rocket potato? Base. So you know. Like a sofa potato. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna stay in there and so you're gonna away be lazy. from the aliens and the danger mm. of nothing. So you're just gonna laze about. Yeah. Well, yeah. everyone else goes explores. They yeah. can take pictures. I Let Theo and Aisha do all the work. That's what I would yeah. say. Yeah, definitely. And do you guys Into think the black hole. you'd be very good explorers in space? Yeah. 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 With no. your rope. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot done with that. Yeah, great. Um, Aisha, what about you? You think you can be a good explorer in space? No, I see one animal. I will scream my head off. I don't think there's many animals uh, in space, but who knows? We don't know. That's the thing. All we know is astronauts poop. You know, that's all we know. Make sure you're sitting comfortably because it's officially story time. <laughs> March, Sunday. I've read that in ancient times they used to bury kings and pharaohs with all their possessions. Back then, I guess they thought you could take your things with you into the afterlife. Well, if I ever get buried with all my junk, I might really regret it later on. Mom's having me do some spring cleaning to get rid of things I don't need. Well, that seemed like a good idea until I realized just how much stuff I've actually got. I spent the whole morning going through my closet, and it's crazy how much was packed in there. And it's not like it was organized or anything. I have basically been throwing things in my closet since we first moved in. (laughs) Digging through my closet was like going through my childhood. And the farther back I went, the further back in time it took me. The stuff near the front of the closet was all junk I tossed in there over the past year, like homework and comic books. But after I got those things out of the way, I started finding stuff I'd forgot about. I found a model rocket I got for my 10th birthday and a costume I wore for Halloween a few years ago. And there was a bunch of other things I didn't even know I still had. When I dug a little deeper, I found something I thought I'd lost years ago. It was a binder full of stickers I'd collected in the third grade. I used to be obsessed with stickers, especially the scratch and sniff kind. I collected all the good smells like bubble gum and candy floss and that sort of thing, but I had all the really gross ones too. So when a kid on my street wanted to know what giraffe poop or rotten meatloaf smelled like, they'd come to me. (laughs) One of these days, I'm going to write my autobiography. And it's going to include scratch and sniff stickers to mark all the different moments in my life. It'll have pages like, And that's when I realized I had stepped in dog poop. Scratch here. I kept digging through my closet and found stuff from kindergarten, like a fish I made by tracing my hand onto a piece of card. I used to love doing arts and crafts back then, and if anyone ever tried to bully me about it, 
they'd get a face full of glitter. <gasps> Another project I found in my closet was a gift I made for my mom in preschool but never gave her. It was a paper flower with a picture of my face in the middle glued to a popsicle stick. Huh? When I made the thing, I put it in a little plant pot filled with earth. But I tripped on the front step when I got home from school that day, and that's why I never gave it to her. Whoa! Ugh. I was glad when I finally reached the back of my closet, but to be honest... I was a little disappointed, too. When I was younger, I read this book about these kids who could visit a whole different world by going through their wardrobe, and I always wondered if I might be able to do the same thing with mine. But I thought that whoever lived on the other side might not be too happy with me for tossing all my junk in there over the years. Like the half-goat guy might not like my basketball bouncing at him in the snow. When I told mom I was done emptying my closet today, she said I needed to put everything into three piles. One to keep, one to donate, and one to throw away. But I figured if I had to let go of any of my junk, I might as well make some money from it. So I decided to have a yard sale. Mom thought that was a great idea, so she gave me a magazine that had all sorts of tips on how to do it right. It was called Family Frolic Throw an Epic Yard Sale Books, Toys, 50 Hot Tips and Tricks All the ideas in the magazine were corny and old-fashioned, though. There was one section on how to create a sign to get people to come to your yard sale, and all the examples they showed were really boring. They said things like, Cool stuff, sale, or Look, yard sale this way. Or yard sale, Saturday, 8 to 11 a.m. I knew that if I wanted people to actually show up at my yard sale, I needed to do something a little more eye-catching. So I whipped up a sign I knew would do the trick. It said, $100 bill found on pavement. Please come to 12 Surrey Street to claim your property. I made a few copies of my sign and headed out to post them around the neighborhood. But Mom stopped me before I got out of the front door. She read it and said, mm -mm. Mom made me make signs that were more like the ones in the magazine. And after I finished, I stapled them to some telephone poles on our street. Then I hauled everything down from my bedroom and started setting it all out on some plastic tables. Each table had its own category, like clothes and books and that kind of thing. But some stuff wasn't easy to categorize, so I had to get creative. All right, so guys, it's the end of the show. Can everyone say aww? Aww. That wasn't forced. Uh, but don't worry, guys. We are going to obviously be back very soon. Uh, but guys, um, any last words? Aisha, do you want to say, like, I don't know, like how good looking I am, maybe? You have a really nice hat. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I bought it myself. Theo, <laughs> have you got any last words for your for your fans at home? All three of them? Three? There might be four. I don't know. <laughs> um, I like your hair. You can't see my hair, Theo. So that's obviously a lie. Honestly, <laughs> these kids. Um, Oshra, what about you? Any uh, last uh, last words before we go and eat chocolate together? <laughs> eat chocolate. I don't think Healthy. that's. I don't think we can do that, Oshra. I mean, we're not allowed to promote the chocolate like that. Uh, but if you do eat it, obviously brush your teeth as well. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I have had a great time talking about space. One of my one of my favorite uh, my favorite topics actually. I, I I like it that much. So thank you guys for coming down and thanks for listening, guys. Don't forget to check out the Puffin website at www.puffin.co.uk for more story packed fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I made that up. Yeah. How good was that in it? That was so good. That was good. That was really good, honestly.